a shocking development to bring you tonight in the immigration debate. The Department of Homeland Security says that at least 142 suspected gang members were put on our streets last year because of Sanctuary City's catch and release policies. Unbelievable. Now, that flies in the face of what Democrats have repeatedly insisted is their real, true intent. Let me be clear. Anybody who in this country who's, who's, who's undocumented, who has committed serious crimes, they need to be deported. And I am not defending any criminals. I, I think that would be ludicrous, and it doesn't make absolutely any sense. I believe that there needs to be serious, severe, and swift consequence when people commit serious and violent crimes. And certainly, if they are undocumented, they should be deported if they commit those serious and violent offenses. Now, let's get the real story. National Border Patrol Council President Brandon Judd joins us from Skype. In Montana and his group spokesman, Border Patrol agent Hector Garza, is in San Antonio. Uh, gentlemen, I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was this bad. But now we have the numbers, and the numbers do not lie. Brandon, let's start with you. Are you, uh, are you thinking at this point the Democrats are going to start eating crow after all these comments that, oh, we're not in favor of that? That's not what sanctuary city policies actually uh, uh, do. That's not what they accomplish. Every night I hear something like that on this show. No, Laura, they're, they're not. They're never going to admit wrongdoing. What they're going to do is they're going to spin it the best way that they can. But thank goodness for the citizens of California, thank goodness that they're pushing back and they're giving President Trump the ground that he needs to continue to go after these, these cities, these states, and say, we're not going to do this anymore. We're going to sue you. We're going to take you to court. We're going to get these policies declared illegal. Thank goodness. Now, uh, 37 jurisdictions, guys, are part of this. So 37 jurisdictions, all but one are sanctuary jurisdictions. L.A. itself, you saw in that map, had 16. Austin had 11. Santa Clara, California, which we don't delineate it this way, but that's we, we do all the California all in one. But Santa Clara, California, 22. Montgomery County, Maryland, which is just minutes from where we're broadcasting, had five gang members released and, and 84 from the year 2012 to 2018 in the shadow of the nation's capital. Those are MS-13. Hector, let's go to you. So these sanctuary policies just encourage more illegal immigration, and they also encourage more crime uh, within those cities. Uh, some of these uh, illegal alien criminals know that if they make it to California or to some of these sanctuary cities, they know that they're, they're, they're free from law enforcement, and they don't have to worry from law enforcement, and they will not be deported. That's why these sanctuary city policies are very, very dangerous. Well, we see, uh, we see these criminals being released, and then we also see them pouring across the border, uh, and we definitely need to secure the border with that. When, when just a moment, I'm going to share with uh, our viewers the number of people who have crossed our border in March. This, I, I almost fell out of my chair when I read this. But first, I want to play Jamil Shaw's father, who was on Fox and Friends this morning, speaking about Governor Jerry Brown, given the fact that he says we're not going to pay for any National Guard uh, troops and do the work that Donald Trump wants us to do. Let's watch. He just doesn't even care about the victims. Like, we're just dead bodies or a piece of trash in the cemetery. And then he's defending these legal alien gangbangers and criminals and hold them up like they're good people, knowing they, from day one, they broke into the country and then they just pillage the communities. No one does anything. Brandon, very quick reaction. Uh, first off, you have to feel for him. You have to feel for the, the family members of these victims. When you're talking about Maryland, I mean, we, we had that, uh, that girl that was raped in in school in a, in a bathroom we have got to stop this we've got to secure our border we've got right. to get behind the president yeah, was, and, yeah. And the yeah that 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 case was i mean i think it was reported one way at first then they had to they had to, there were plenty of other uh cases that are are brutal and horrific right in northern virginia by the way and in montgomery county i told you guys i would reveal the number of border crossers and just in march of this year there was a huge spike 37,393 people crossed into our country. Many of them will be released back into society because of our ridiculous, credible fear rule that has been abused.